plans to exploit oil security. They intend to stockpile energy reserves to destabilize the markets at their discretion. This means economic misery for millions, but will swell Blackwood's pockets. Their plans cannot succeed. We must eliminate all Blackwood forces. You know, I really keep forgetting when that guy is gonna shut his traps. He's got such a long pause between his speeches. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? I am here, and I am doing a regular run through. Uh, I think this is called Mission Deadfall. And this gun I am using here is called the M99AS submachine gun. And I do have the silencer equipped on it for some unknown reason. Um, this is really not one of my preferred submachine guns to be using for typical PvE missions. Yeah, there you go. Go after that guy. But I will say this uh, gun has its pros and its cons. It's both a good and a bad gun. All expendables restored. What's good about this gun? Well, it's got a 50 round magazine. And the other good part is it has extremely high fire rate. The con of this gun is... I'm hearing a sniper somewhere. The con of this gun has... Crazy recoil. See how I am just swerving left and right? The reason the recoil doesn't look so bad is because as I'm pressing down the mouse button, I'm actually trying to move my mouse around to cancel out the gun's sway. So that's why it looks like the recoil is not so bad. Believe me, it's horrendous. And I would not recommend using this gun at all. However, this gun can be useful if you're using a different sight for this gun. I'm using a zoom in scope. All expendables restored. You zoom in so much that the smallest recoil will just... It will be moving your screen all over the place. Is this guy trying to no scope him? There you go. <laughs> But if I use a reflex sight, you know, it might be somewhat more useful, which would actually make it a pretty good gun for player versus player, because players typically don't use zoom-in scopes when they're doing a player versus player, because most of your opponents are going to be up close. And the other plus about this gun is it has very high accuracy without aiming so the hip accuracy is pretty good but the problem with it is you're gonna run out of ammo really fast it has low damage and the recoil is just it's really bad and just like any of the other M9 series weapons they all have crazy recoil right next to the FY series so if I want to make it brief I can just say that when you zoom in you get poor accuracy when you shoot from the hips it's a very good gun especially for PVE so you know it's really a matter of personal preference I know a lot of people really dig this a gun for its clip ago, size but I'm the type of player who mostly relies on burst fire, so I don't need to worry about recoil. But in general, this gun is not... It's not in one of my top. This is a regular mission, so we should be taking this helicopter down pretty quickly. But yeah, another pro to using this gun in PvE is that you do have a higher clip capacity. Oh, 
shit, he's already down. down. We might get time. Rack up more kills while the multiplier is going. <laughs> and that was a demonstration of how to use an RPG on enemy AI. <laughs> but yeah, use this gun in PvP. Y your clip will last longer, giving you less reload times. And this gun takes a long ass time to reload, so don't bother using it or reloading that much in PvP. But this was a very short video demonstration. I wasn't expecting it to run it so fast. But this was the demonstration of the M99AS submachine gun. I'm not much of a fan of it, but some of you might have a different opinion on it, like most others do. I want to thank you for watching, and the next video I'll probably be showing something different, so I'll see you guys then.